In this video, I will be putting the Godan's chosen, Godan's men, I'm sorry, up against the Sarmatian warband of the Alans. Godan's, of, Godan's men, of course, belonging to the recently released Langobards, one of their unique and iconic units. Decent armor, decent health, great morale, a decent charge bonus, very, very, very good melee damage and melee attack. Now, the Sarmatian Warband costs exactly the same as the Godan's men. The Sarmatian Warband has a higher melee attack, they have a lower charge bonus, lower melee damage, they have more armor, slightly less health, significantly less morale, but they do have precursors, which the Godan's men lack. So that might come into play here. I know I've said it before, but I have to say it again. Sarmatian Warband awesome looking unit. The shields are gorgeous. The the Godans men are... their shields are a complete miss in my opinion. And... I don't like the helmets, I don't like the armor. I like the color scheme. The color scheme looks decidedly Germanic. But overall, not... Uh, in my opinion, not a very cool looking unit. The beards look cool though, they've done something right with the beards, they don't look like pube hair anymore. But let's see how these guys perform in combat against the similarly priced Sarmatian Warband. So on the charge, the Godans men start losing. I'm activating Frenzy to increase their, their um, melee attack over here. But the Sarmatian Warband is winning slightly. And over here as well, because the Godans men take a significant amount of casualties from Precursor Javelins. Maybe they will start going Berserk, and one unit has gone Berserk, so it will probably fight to the death. That might tip the balance uh, in favor of the Godans men, because now they're going to be fresh immediately. Uh, the fear on the Sarmatian Warband means that the Godans men are going to start doing well. And they start running Berserk when they start losing, or it's it's not because they start losing, I assume it's going to be once they've gotten a certain amount of kills or stayed in combat for a certain amount of time, they have a chance to go Berserk, so before that they didn't really do too well, but they are able to defeat and break the Sarmatians when the Sarmatians start taking casualties, because the Godans men have more, more uh, morale and have the ability to go berserk. So the Godans men, you definitely want to keep them away from enemy missiles, but against the very strong Sarmatian warband, they are able to defeat them, although not... It's a convincing display, but they are out of control now, and it would be difficult to to uh, direct these guys to where you want them, and they, when they are running berserk, they are at risk of being just charged down by cavalry. So, Godans men defeating Sarmatian Warband quite convincingly. Strength and honor. <laughs> 